añan haseyo de erman kwachan imida uh and welcome back to another video so as you know i am quill john and well i'm still in high school as a lot of you may know and the past i'd say like couple years have been quite rough it, you know um in t early 2017 my father passed and if you haven't seen the video on that i will have a link down in the description box for you to go check that out I do believe that I explained what happened. And... Yeah. I explained what happened. But after that, you know, um, depression set in. I wasn't making videos. Content wasn't being created because I wasn't putting any product out. Because I didn't feel adequate to make product and I didn't feel like anyone would want to um, see that product anyway. So what I initially did was I just kind of stopped posting and so honestly that was that with the posting I just didn't post anymore and then after I stopped posting uh, what I what happened was I got out of the groove of making videos so then I honestly didn't know what to do so what I started doing was I started researching what I wanted to do with my channel and what I want to do with my channel is I want to make it an art related channel but also keep it kind of gaming and related to makeup because makeup is an art form believe it or not it's an art form and i don't just want to be that artist that is like oh just art i want to be that interesting artist that one that's gonna take everyone by storm come for your job drawing with jazza I'm, I'm joking, Jazza. I'm not coming for your job. I don't want that. That's, that's a life that I don't want to live, fam. And just before I get further into the video, if you guys don't know who, who drawing with Jazza is, he is a, um, YouTube con content creator who draws. Well, that's the fastest and easiest way to put it that makes sense but yeah he is an illustrator and he tries out different art mediums and it's great he's actually give he's given me a lot of insight on what content I could be creating here on this channel and I find it great as you can tell, I also want to do collabs as I'm doing a collab this summer with one of my best friends. And I think it's going to be amazing. I hope you guys will like it. I actually, we haven't worked out all the details because, you know, we're far away and that's kind of difficult to work out details on how it's going to work and maneuver when... You both live in two different places, but we're gonna we're gonna work this out. We're, it's gonna be it's gonna be Gucci fresh and fine. It's 
going to be great. But yeah. Do, 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 do. And if you're wondering, this layered technique, um, I got, um, I learned from an artist named, if I can remember her name, that would be great, by an artist named Echo. Um, she is a content creator on YouTube, she's very good at what she does, and I appreciate her work very much. For it has helped me with a lot of my digital art that that I don't normally do because I'm not a digital artist. Yeah. That was great, Quells. You did great explaining that. But basically, it's a layering process that um, just takes the ability of layering. I don't exactly know how to put it, but just like layering things. And the app that I am using to do most, if not all, my digital sketches is called Sketchbook. It's a very nice, very reasonable art medium. What is happening? Do do do. Do did I not use enough layers? Wait, then why is it drawing over? That's curious. Because it's not supposed to be drawing over the layer that I just put down earlier. Why? This is curiouser and curiouser. Okay, maybe if I change the brush. Because mm. it wasn't doing this. The other day. Okay, now it's acting right. It says as I get really messy with how I'm coloring this in. I guess that's fine. Now all I need is this and to clean up. But yeah, uh, this app is just called Plainly Sketchbook very simple. You can also get it on the computer by a different name. It's, it's also technically the same name, but we're not going to get into technicalities right now. Help me. Okay. We're just going to we're just going to re erase we're just going to erase everything and then start that eyebrow all over again.
Okay, I want it to be super opaque over here. Okay. Best to fan out and thin towards the outer part of the brow. Yes, we love thick, bushy brows. And now I'm just going to take some blues and Kind of like liven this up. There we go. And honestly, when I get done with this, it'll probably not look, it will most likely not look the way you expected it to. Do it, do. Why didn't I just use that first brow? That would have been so much easier. This isn't looking how I wanted it, but I guess it's fine. Yes, I'm just going to take this and kind of move it along this way. Oh, that reminds me what I did. Dupe. Bam. That's what I did. I'm smart. But yeah, we're just going to take this and do this just like this. I forgot that switching layer heights or where it is in the layer bar is a thing um, and it's a kind of important thing that needs to happen just so that you can do 
things that matter. The word thing's going to annoy me. And then I'm going to go back in with like a tight liner and just fill everything else in some parts where it is very red and I do not want to like upset that I will just leave it red like on the brows on the eye. I say brows as if there's two brows, there's only one brow. On this edge though, I will make it kind of bigger just because I want to get this done. You're probably like, why the heck did you wake up this early on a freaking school day just to draw and film? Because it's my life, I can do what I want to, Mom. Okay, so A lot of this video is going to be quite silent. I think I'm gonna add another layer so I can do skin tones because I don't want to particularly feel like I have to be careful. What am I using? I'm using a tattoo pen, but I really want an airbrush. Flow is on maximum. Oh, and it's on the smallest, it's on one of the smallest brush settings.
Okay. And one last couple. It's with the larger airbrush. Oh, shit. I just want him to be a little tanner than... We're just gonna make it look like he does have a nose somewhere and that's how we're gonna do that. So now, now, just make this layer visible and do 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 do. I craft, I mine, I took my time to build castle without you. Two moats, ten boats, don't want to gloat But there's so much that I can't do Enchanting diamond swords Trap doors beneath the floor See, look at that Looking like a whole person But Yes. This is just a little bit of what's been on my mind lately. So another thing that's been on my mind is the fact that I got contacts. And they're kind of bugging me. Because I... Because I personally have never truthfully worn contacts up until this point. And now I am wearing them. So that's kind of interesting. What's this sketch going to be called? think I'm gonna call it why that's it if you want a full sketchbook tour please comment down below sketchbook as in like digital sketchbook because my common sketchbook or my traditional sketchbook is kind of boring but yeah if you would like a full sketchbook tour and yes please comment down below like this video and tell me what you most liked about it in the comments <laughs> give me some tips on digital art if you have some and subscribe for more bye